welcome to CES 2026 Watch Room. I'm your host today, my name is Rebecca. In this series, we are bringing together leaders from across the tech industry to share their insights and predictions on the trends shaping the future. Mobility today is undergoing one of the most profound transformation in history. Around the world, we're seeing the convergence of electrification, connectivity, and artificial intelligence reshaping how people and goods move. Cars are no longer just vehicles. They're becoming intelligent platforms, connected to the cloud, integrated with smart cities, and powered by sustainable energy. From electric drive trends and autonomous systems to vehicle-to-everything communication and personalized in-car experiences, the future of mobility is about more than transportation. It is about reimagined freedom, safety, and sustainability. So this shift is not only technological, but cultural, redefining how industries collaborate and how consumers engage with mobility solutions. And that's why today's conversation is so important to help us explore how Semiconductor is enabling the transformation. We're joined by Paul Lee, Senior Director of Automotive System and Marketing at NXP Semiconductors. So hi, Paul. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Can you say hi to the audience? Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, Paul, for coming. And mobility is changing fast from electric cars to self-driving features. The way we move is being reimagined, of course. And that's why you're here today. We have so many questions to um, ask you. And But usually, when we ask people what's driving this change, many would probably say you know, batteries or sensors. But from your point of view, what's the one technology that people don't usually think about? But actually, that is very important for the future of transportation. You know, when you think about a vehicle, you really don't realize how many microcontrollers and microprocessors are actually inside a vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, there could be up to 100, potentially, or even 150 microcontrollers and processors managing every single uh, activity that's going on in the vehicle today. That's the most important part, the microcontrollers and processors, you know, that really is the silent backbone of uh, modern electronics. And um, actually, it is very fascinating because while most people don't think about it, but companies like, you know, NXP, you know, I believe you have been working on it for decades, probably on this technology and to uh, keep the pace with the innovation. So uh, for NXP, has it, well, it has been the forefront of automotive innovation. So could you start by sharing how NXP defines mobility reimagined and the role semiconductors play in reshaping the automotive industry? So for NXP, uh, mobility reimagined actually means going from a mechanical world to a software-defined intelligent edge platform. What this really means is that it enables vehicles that are safe by design, for example, that are targeting zero accidents through advanced safety, sensing, secure networking, and functional safety. It also means that it's electrified and efficient, optimizing energy use and powertrain control for sustainability. It's connected and upgradable, delivering continuous improvements via OTA over the year updates and secure connectivity. And it's also personalized and scalable, supporting diverse in-vehicle experiences and modular architectures across entire fleets. In summary, at NXP, Mobility Reimagined means turning vehicles into these really secure, software-defined vehicle platforms that are safer, smarter, and more sustainable. Uh, semiconductors are really at this, are the silent enabler, powering electrification, connectivity, and edge intelligence. So these cars can evolve like smartphones, delivering new features and experiences throughout their life cycle. So as you mentioned about electrified and efficient, in terms of electric car, electrification is central to the future of mobility. So um, what are NXP's key contributions to EVs and charging infrastructure? You know, electrification isn't just about the volts. It's about intelligence and safety. NXP delivers ASIL certified battery management systems, silicon carbide ready traction inverter control, and also secure ISO 15118 charging platforms. All of these semiconductor innovations enable fast charging, predictive diagnostics, grid-aware energy flow, making those EV ecosystems scalable and future-proof. Safety is at the heart of everything we do. Vehicles today are connected to the cloud, to infrastructure, and even to other cars. And that's really exciting, but it also means we need strong cybersecurity and functional safety frameworks. NXP provides secure platforms that protect data and ensure systems respond reliably. Whether it's advanced driver assistance or vehicle to everything communication, our goal is to really make sure innovation never compromises safety. 
Oh, okay. So I believe like mobility today is about intelligence and also, of course, safety. So how does NXP ensure vehicles are not only smart, but also safe? Right, so safety and security are absolutely important for electric vehicles and software-defined vehicles in general. You can imagine that uh, as, as NXP, all of our devices are functionally safe, functionally certified as well. And we make sure that all of our system solutions interact in terms of the functional safety and uh, security capabilities that we offer. And looking ahead, what excites you the most about the next phase of mobility? Yeah, I think one of the biggest changes that's going on in the industry right now is what we call the software-defined vehicle. And, and that is really changing the way that vehicles are being architected and also being uh, controlled as well. So software is really enabling a new generation of vehicles that are going to be out in the market today. Ah, oh, so software, I see. So it is not uh, like, you know, in the past, hardware and everybody see only the outside of the car, but right now the software and also the intelligent part of the car is, is the future of the mobility. Yes. I see. And CES is full of technology and we're all looking forward to it this year. But And it's really about how those ideas touch people's lives. So what's one innovation that you foresee that you can think will make the biggest difference for everyday drivers and for passengers? You know, uh, I think one of the big buzzwords in the industry is AI in general. And we see AI already being proliferated in cars today. So for example, in what we call ADAS systems or infotainment systems. But beyond that, we can see what we call edge AI happening within the vehicle, throughout the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So making the full vehicle self-intelligent, self-aware, and using all of that capability and technology to make the driving experience much better, much more personalized. So AI also, I have another question that how do you connect the, you know, the vehicles to the clouds, like connectivity part? Do you have any like um, services that, could, well, based to, the, uh, to this kind of service? Yeah, so um, we have uh, one platform in particular called the NXP CoreRide platform. And this is enabling a, uh, a software architecture for all of these connected vehicles to build upon uh, their OTA capabilities, for example, cloud connectivity, uh, virtual sensors and virtual models as well, where developers and car uh, manufacturers can actually utilize cloud technology, connected technology to continuously improve the software that's being developed for the vehicles and continues to deploy that back to the vehicle itself. I see. So that's a really powerful vision. And exactly that is the kind of perspective CES is meant to highlight. And it brings back, uh, bring us back to the themes, so the chips that drive the future of mobility. And thank you so much for sharing how NXP is enabling software-defined uh, vehicle, as you mentioned earlier, and also electrification, safety, and connectivity. So while also continuing to push the boundaries of what's possible. So so, Paul, thank you for being with us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And then at CES uh, 2026, we're actually going to have uh, what we call a partner innovation showcase, where we'll have some of our partners from Taiwan, especially, namely, uh, especially Quanta, Delta, Pegatron, and Ventec, and many other worldwide tier ones, where they are showcasing some of NXP's technology in today's software defined vehicles. Thank you, Paul, for sharing with us today. All right. Thank you and appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us in the CES 2026 Watchroom session. Stay tuned for more conversations with leaders and innovators who are shaping the next era of technology. If, if you've enjoyed our content, don't forget to subscribe to the Digital Times Asia channel to keep up with our latest insights. You can also check out our website for latest news. I'm Rebecca. Thank you for watching. See you next time.